Above ground pool deck ideas. Welcome to the above ground pool builder. Today, let's discuss pool decks. What are your options for above ground pool decking? Here, you will see some really cool deck ideas and learn about the different options available. The first thing you should do prior to building a pool deck is let your imagination set you free. Whatever you can think of is perfectly okay to do. The pool deck you decide on is one that you will look at and use for the next several years. It should be exactly as you desire. There are many new materials available to create the deck of your dreams. Sketch it out on a piece of paper, then it can come to life. Once you have it sketched, compare your ideas with your family and together you can break down what will be an absolute must and which things to omit. You may want that waterproof cubby for towels and decide against that outside shower head. Eliminating the things you don't want will bring about the desired look of your new deck. The most frequently asked questions regarding above ground pool decks are what should be the pool's deck height and what materials are best to use? Although we are not deck builders here at the Above Ground Pool Builder, we do have some opinions based on our experience. We have seen many decks over the years and know what styles are best when installers come by to replace liners or pools that have decks attached. Above ground pools come with wall heights of 48, 52, or 54 inches. Manufacturers construct their pools with different sized parts. So even if a pool measures the same height, the final installed pool will always be slightly different depending on the manufacturer and the model. The reason is that some pools may have large top rails and others may have smaller resin caps. Expect to tweak your building plans during this phase depending on the make and model of your pool. Semi-in-ground pools can be buried halfway into the ground. Thus, a deck around this pool will require less materials. The next step will involve getting a builder involved and drawing up blueprints. At the very least, go over all your points with potential contractors and choose the contractor that you're most comfortable with. The contractor will design blueprints of the deck with the correct measurements and include the features you want. From here, your budget will dictate whether you need to scale down or add more options. Contractors who build decks for a living will have ideas that may impress you as well. Let the process happen and don't leave anything to chance. Now let's chat about the different materials and styles of decks and pools. Decks can be built with wood, composite, or a combination of these two materials. Also available are resin and aluminum decks which are pre-made at the factory and attached to the pool frame. Resin and aluminum pre-made decks are easy and straightforward. They're usually built at the same time the pool is installed. If you're looking for an instant deck, then aluminum or resin is the way to go. Composite decks have been around for about 30 years. The composite materials nowadays are a major improvement from the initial materials. When the composite was first used in pool decks, it would warp and the screws would jut outward. Now, composite decks are smoothly built and do a great job of handling the weather changes. Another option is to build a pressure-treated frame and then finish the rest off with composite materials. Another question we always get at the Above Ground Pool Builder is, should we build the deck first? The answer is no. It is very important to build an above ground pool first and build the deck last. With curves, angles, and varying pool top heights, it is best to build a deck after the pool is installed. Deck Styles Canter Lever We think that canter levering a deck over the pool's edge is a great idea. The steps and ladders that you use to get in and out of the pool can be adjusted to work with this kind of structure. Constructed Level with Top Rail when doing this, you want to consider how the top of the pool will come apart. It is best if you go parallel with the first deck board. When it comes time to change your pool liner, you will only have to take off one deck board instead of the entire deck area. You should know how the pool comes apart and build accordingly. 
building below the top rail. We feel this is a good idea as well. Just follow the last steps and know how the top system comes apart. This is important when the liner needs to be replaced. Building halfway down the wall. This is another good idea, and you don't have to worry about how the top comes apart since it will not be affected. With this design, you can achieve a multi-level look to your above ground pool deck. By having different levels, you can have various areas that serve your needs, such as a sitting area or a grilling area, separate from swimming. Stonework. Creating a stone patio in combination with your deck makes for a modern looking pool. Try creating a cement patio around parts of the pool. Be sure to create the proper retaining walls so the pool doesn't collapse. Being creative with your deck will make it your relaxation station. Feel free to look at the following ideas for inspiration. Your pool deck should be a place that you and your family will be proud to relax and enjoy for years to come. If we can help you in any way, please call on us at www.abovegroundpoolbuilder.com. Thanks.